How good does it feel to be back this weekend? Can I do this? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, I feel great. I feel great. I'm glad to be back. I'm excited to be back. I'm grateful. Um, I feel I feel such great energy. And I mean, the fans are just, they seem so excited. I'm excited. And um, I feel blessed. Hey, um, G'day, John. I, I feel, I've always said this, your, your mental scape, your mental fortitude going into fights is, is always one of your strongest attributes, your mentality, taking fights, and, and the preparation to it. Obviously, you've had a long, a long layoff, and there would have been chirpers and people on the sidelines saying, when are you fighting next? Why don't you fight this? Why don't you get back into it? Why don't you do it? What did you do to just stay solid in, in, in your processes and your game plan and what you were doing to, to, to come back the way you have now at peak performance, the size you have and everything else? Yeah, one, one of the things I had to deal with the most was like, he's never coming back. Dude, you're never coming back. I, I, just, had to, I just had to stay focused, you know? Um, distractions, haters, all, like all of it, it just comes with the territory. You just have to be able to mute the noise. You got to have skin like an armadillo and, and, um, and you just got to enjoy the process. You know, I, I've, I've just, I've kept my blinders on for three years. Uh, I've stayed completely focused and I've kept moving one foot in front of the other. And now we're here. Now we're here. So I'm grateful. We survived a pandemic, time off. You know, all of it. Um, I just stayed faithful to the to the goal. And, uh, and now I'm here. What's up, John? Uh, it's Alex uh, Volkanovsky. I obviously Alex. previously did the, 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 the bulking and had to, had to go up and, and things like that. And I found it very hard. The bulking phase, like eating four, 5,000 calories. How was that process doing that? Because it's actually a lot harder than I first expected. Um, first, Alex, you're you're a freaking badass, dude. <laughs> it, it's long being on your back. You're talking the whole time. You're punching behind yourself, dude. You kept your composure. You didn't freak out. Most people would have panicked. Uh, you're in some serious shape, dude. Very impressive. I appreciate um, it. Yeah, dude. Um, the the bulking phase. It was a lot of rice, man. I, I had to learn to eat eggs and rice and lunch with rice and steak with rice and two protein shakes a day, three protein shakes a day, you know, tons of fish and chicken. It became tedious. There, there were some days where I felt like my mouth hurt, like my jaw hurt just from eating the meals. It became miserable. I had to, I had to like almost blend food sometimes to just swallow it down. Um, it was not fun, but I eventually adapted to the lifestyle and um, I started to live that that true fitness lifestyle, just just being committed. I used to hate weightlifting. Now, if I don't get a workout in, I I, I feel miserable. Um, I, I just have to adapt to what what the mission required, and um, and I did, I did. Now now I love fitness. I love being two hundred and fifty pounds. I feel I feel incredibly strong. I feel like I think more clear now that I'm eating more food. I sleep better. Um, Sexual performance is better without the <laughs> pills. <laughs> well, that's great to hear, John, that you're having a great time. Um, I just want to uh, take it back, Moving Alex. On. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, right as, uh, as fast as we can. Um, Alexander Volkanovsky, your, your praise of him was, was great to hear. But can I just get your opinion on the whole pound-for-pound pound discussion? Who, in your mind, John, is the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world right now? And will that change on Sunday? Um... You know, I think it's the guys who's been fighting. I think I think Alex, Islam, you know, these are the guys who's been fighting. I haven't been competing. And they de they deserve to be the top fighters on the planet. I admit that. I mean, uh, these guys look great, man. Alex, I believe, is one of the most complete athletes in the game right now. His striking, his endurance, his fitness, um, you know, his love for his country, the way his country receives him, everything about him. I I I'm a huge fan. I'm an absolute huge fan. He deserves to be one of the top fighters in the planet right now. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fight to be the best fighter ever. It's two different things. Um, but when it comes to right now, who looks the best, I haven't even competed yet. So like, how could I have a problem with uh, these guys being the, the top fighters on the planet? I, I don't. I think they deserve to be exactly where they are. I, and, and I do believe that I think 
right this second, you're arguably the, the best fighter that to have ever lived anyway. Um, but going off what you said earlier about how, how now you can't help if you don't get your weight sessions in, you feel off and you've adapted to the, the fitness lifestyle. It sounds like the three years off was also more than just about putting on weight and bulking. It was like a lifestyle shift. You know, you shifted your, your lifestyle in, in, in so many ways to, to reinvent yourself almost. Could, could you elaborate on that? Yeah. yeah, that's fair to say. You know, I, I got time away from being John Bones Jones and I got to focus on my family and my community my heart, my mind, you know, the way I process things, my faith. Um, and I feel better, you know, I, I've done a lot of work in my community, like community service type stuff and just being able to give back to others and be around some of our homeless community and just like really get to know people, you know, hanging, hanging out and in, in some of our reservations where, the, where our, some of our Native Americans are doing really really bad. You know, I got to personally develop friendships and just humble myself in a way. And uh, and now I'm at a position where I'm just super grateful for all of it. I'm grateful to be back here. You know, honestly, like the way I'm treated right now, I'm, I'm, I'm like in this big fancy hotel room and I can see all of Las Vegas and I got all these drivers and security guards. And like, <laughs> I like, I'm, I'm almost uncomfortable like being who I am right now. It's like, it's, it's like somebody pinched me. Um, I'm just, I'm just grateful. I'm more grateful. I've been working hard. I put in the work. And uh, it, it just feels surreal. I feel really blessed and I'm honoured to be back. Just uh, one last one uh, from me, uh, John. With you, your resume you know, speaks for itself. You've fought uh, so many fighters and so many great fighters, great strikers, uh, dangerous strikers, uh, guys of good footwork and all that type of stuff. Uh, are you looking forward to this challenge of uh, a calculated sort of striker in Ghan where, you know, he's uh, defensively, you know, sound and that? Does that excite you in a sense? Of, again, you've fought all types of fighters, but uh, when it comes to a calculated strike and him being heavier and all that type of stuff, does this really excite you? I'm getting Jason Statham vibes. All right. <laughs> That's the look I'm going for. That's the look I'm going for. I got a question for you. Can you dance or is it mostly like the shadow box? I like, just do you to, actually get down? I just shadow box, uh -huh. man, because I can't dance. You know what I mean? I was wondering. I feel like Cyril Gain is, is a really good fighter. He's, he's special compared to most heavyweights. But I don't I don't feel like I fight like the other heavyweights at all. And, and I, I could talk about it as much as I like. I, I'll show you guys on Saturday. Um, you know, Gain is very predictable. He has patterns. You know, he's the type of guy who'll throw the same kick three times in a row. You know, he, when he's in his orthodox stance, there's things that he does every time. When he's in his southpaw stance, there's things that he does every time. I'm I'm a big guy, on mm -hmm. um, I'm studying footage and things like that, and I've I've done my homework. Um, Surreal gain has nothing that I've never seen before. Absolutely nothing. There's no crazy crazy speed or really sharp boxing combinations or like these extraordinary taekwondo kicks that just come out of this weird angles you know yes he'll go for a spinning back kick and they're sloppy you miss half the time they're... the fans are just so impressed by him mm. he bounces around he has a really quick jab he, he bounces around he can retreat really quickly you know but dude i've fought guys like leo to machida you know guys who started kickboxing when they were four years old uh you know what i go i go as far to say i believe tiago santos at 205 pounds you catch him on a good night. I think Seattle, Seattle Santos could be a heavyweight surreal gain. I've I've fought better fighters than this. Mm -hmm. And and I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna prove it. His takedown, his takedown defense is terrible. He has no ground game. He has those ankle locks, which we're very prepared for. I'm I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna dominate this fight. Well, John Fernand Lopez has said that wrestling will be your plan A. I mean, do you think that will be the way that you sort of explore this fight first up? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just go with that. I'll <laughs> <say that. laughs> yeah. Well, you've set the table very well for us, John Jones. We can't wait for this weekend. Thank you so much for your time on Fox Sports and wish you all the best this weekend. Sorry about talking about the pills.
Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to touch on it. Like, oh, uh, John even laughed. He was like, oh, he's going to ask me about the before. I'm, I'm going to go get a Nutribullet right now. What, some, some greens? What's, what's in the smoothie, John? Tell me. You've got to get some eggs and some protein. <laughs> oh, this, the, the, you're talking about my smoothie? Are we talking about nutrition, really, or what? No. <laughs> oh, are, are you talking about... The performance. Uh, the, uh, performance the performance in bed. The performance in bed. <laughs> it's uh it's um grapefruit try a little grapefruit guys Mate, it does it. Yeah. 12 a day 12 a day <laughs> and aphrodisiac <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the best this week, right. my brother. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it. All the best, it. you, too. Yeah. All the Thank best you. you three. Appreciate it. Get it.